Hey guys, welcome to RV Recordings. Today we're doing a review of my 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. Now, as many of you know, this car is not stock. I do have a few performance mods done to it, like this AWE exhaust. <laughs> here I got the uh, blacked out headlights these headlights are something I added the thing about these headlights are uh, I'm sure it happens to all cars but these especially um, they got really fogged up so I had to change them I don't have a garage to park the car in so they get that direct sunlight and um, they actually got fogged up really bad so I did swap those out with the black ones also got a black grill and um, coming to the bottom here you see the it's a front lip right here. This comes off the uh, the Jetta GLI model, and you can see it kind of goes throughout the vehicle, the side skirts, and then it goes down to the back of the rear valence. I'll come on the side. You can see here it's a Wolfsburg edition. What difference this one, the Wolfsburg, from the base model is the Wolfsburg has a sunroof and it has heated leather seats on the inside and it also comes with rims instead of hubcaps even though these wheels right here are the denvers there's the uh denvers and the detroits these usually go on the uh, gti the, the uh, gli usually has the detroits or the, or the uh the bigger ones the detroits are a little bigger they're 19s these are uh i believe they're 18s or 17s and one of the noticeable difference uh, things about them is the these are all aluminum when you get them. I had these plastic dipped But these are actually all aluminum and The Detroit's are like a brushed aluminum on the on the face here on the outside But on the inside here, it's like a gloss black finish I also got my my uh, side view mirrors plastic dipped as well, and I got this smoked So it's a little darker than normal on the side, you can see I got the OEM roof racks. Uh, on the back here, you see the LED taillights and the rear valence I was talking about. Off the Jetta GLI, also has the uh, reflectors on it. And then there you see the AWE cat back tips. Some of the specs on this car, when you buy it stock, it's um, 150 horsepower which uh, is pretty slow. This car does have a few modifications done too. I do have a tune and a few other mods. So it's probably pushing like 170, maybe 175 horsepower. Stock torque is 170. Uh, once again, having a few mods done, it's probably maybe 180, 185. Uh, it gets good gas mileage too. 19 city and 28 highway. So it's a 2.5 liter inline five cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at the car inside the uh, interior now. This is what the key looks like. On the front here, you get the Volkswagen emblem. On the left side, you get the red panic button for your alarm. On the back, you get the lock, trunk release, and the uh, the uh, unlock for the doors on the little button right here just kind of flips out the key like that. So let's go ahead and get inside the car and uh, see what the inside looks like. Now I do have some mods on the inside too, like these pedals right here um, are aluminum. I got the aluminum pedals. The steering wheel comes off the GLI and the shifter comes off the GTI. I got them both because they both have that red stitching that looks really nice. So I got them to uh, to match. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit inside the car. Uh, on the door here, you got the, of course the door release, the top you have the uh, unlock and the lock. Here you got the control for the windows. This will control the, um, 
the mirrors, the tilt and the, the mirror function. Here at the bottom here, you got the gas cap release and the uh, trunk release button. Also a key slot you can put in there to lock it. So that's a light switch, very basic on or off. There is an automatic headlights when you get this car. I just had that deactivated. This control on the side there controls how bright the um, tachometer is. Uh, one of the cool things about this car is uh, the turning signal here. I don't know how many other cars have this, but you don't have to have it locked down for it to turn. You can like, or for, to have the light on, you can like tap it down like that and it'll blink three times on on either side. So you just kind of like tap it down and it'll blink three times for you. So it's good for like a quick merging. That's a feature that's really, really cool. And I kind of hope a lot more cars have that, which I'm sure they do. I just don't really know. It might be a, um, a German thing or something. But uh, over here, you got the hazards. You got the um, CD, radio, six presets, FM, AM, all that good stuff. You control the bass, the tremble, balance, fade. And here you have the heated seats that the Wolfsburg is known for. There's a zero, it goes all the way up to five. There's five different settings. So I'll go up to five, just being hotter and hotter. Um, there's the um, heater and AC controls, the fan. These gauges are also for the um, air ride suspension. Um, there's the shifter knob, handbrake. The glove compartment. And looking up top here, you can see the uh, the sunroof here. This is the sunroof, it slides out. That This is for the, um, the sunglasses on the bottom here. That's what you use to control the, the sunroof. So let's go ahead and uh, get the sunroof. The cool thing about the sunroof is it does tilt up and slide out. This, um, there's like two different options. You can slide this out. So going all the way to the right will tilt it up and all the way to the left will we'll, uh, slide it back and these little these little dots right here are little sections so you don't have to go all the way um, out if you want to you can stop it right there and that'll kind of like kind of go like halfway and the cool thing is if you do have it open or um, or tilt it up or something and the sun's like right over your head you can slide this back and because of these vents right here it'll still let it'll still let air flow in which is nice now we're gonna go ahead and look at the back seat all right so we're gonna go ahead and get in the back seat now looking at the door got the door handle got the lock and the unlock switch and the window control so nice room for three people. It is a little bit of tight leg room. I am six feet tall and um, I don't really fit back here. My knees do touch the back seat. There's plenty of elbow room and uh, shoulder room, but my knees will touch. Here you have a nice little center console. Just slide this out and it opens up. Um, we do have two extra cup holders back here. You just push that and it will slide right out for you. You open this up and you get a little tray. Here, you do have a little pass through. This whole thing will will um, open out so you can like put skis through there, or snowboard or something, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop the hood now. There's a hood lash at the bottom here. Now they made it really easy to open the hood. There's not like a little latch or something you gotta like finger in there to try to figure out how to open it. It's just a little, you just pull it up like that. There's a little clip here that just pops it right up, which is awesome. So here's the engine bay. Looks a little different than normal. The uh, normal one you buy this car, original is uh, pretty much all plastic. That's all you see. And it has like the, um, the air intake there coming through here and just kind of like circles under there. So I did uh, get a new cover right here. This comes out the Volkswagen Beetle. So it just kind of shows off more of the engine. 
here have the new speed peak flow air intake and it does have a united motorsport tune so that's pretty much it for the engine this cap comes off an audi r8 um so yeah 2.5 liter inline five cylinder sounds great with the awe exhaust now i'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk which is this button right here trunk is going to be pretty messy. I'm going to warn you now. Um, so here's the trunk of the car right here. You have a little cubby right here to store stuff in, which is cool. Um, as you can see, I got the compressor and the air tank for the air ride suspension under this tire. The tire is supposed to be under here, this little um, mat right there. But um, I do have an air ride suspension, so I got the management and all the the hosing and the wire under there, so it's kind of a pain in the butt, really. One of the things I hate about air suspension is not being able to uh, have a place for your spare tire. But um, there is a lot of trunk space in here. It might look a little snug right now, but it's a uh, it's a pretty good size. All right, so that sums up the review of my 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're looking into a car like this, if you want to get a Jetta. They are, they're nice cars, I really enjoy it. I had it for six years now. It's a fun car to drive, great daily driver. So, thanks for watching.